Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Normally, when you guys are all here staring at me, it's a lot of pressure. But today, there's actually no pressure because there's somebody in the room that's sucking all the air out of the room and taking all the attention. We are so honored to have Jay Leno with us today. It's just amazing to have you with us. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. It's nice to be here. You know, see, if we were in Pebble Beach, we'd have to eat the little kale things with some kind of yogurt on it. Here you got real Detroit food. This is right. Cement floor. Oh, yeah. Real, and, real, know, real, we, yeah. we don't mess around yeah, here. This very is good, pretty. Very good. It's Dream about. Cruise is one of our favorite days. I mean, Dream Cruise is just, this is the day that we get to celebrate everything that we love about this industry and cars in general. And I always say about this day, this is not a day Every day of our life, we're competing, right? It's a, it's a tough industry. This is not a day for competition. This is a day- yeah, We're competing, yeah. Yeah, maybe. This is a day, maybe we're competing a little bit. Um, this is a day for camaraderie. This is a day for all of us to slow down, step back, literally sit on the side and watch the history go by. That's the only time I ever hear Tim say, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> Drive your Challenger as slowly as possible. Absolutely. Um, because everything's happening so fast in this industry. You guys see the change that's happening every single day. It's just running away from us. I mean, I was thinking about it coming here today in this car. It's not a new car, by the way. Don't, don't be waiting for me to pull the cover up and tell you some announcement about this car. This is the car that we announced five months ago in Las Vegas, almost to the day, five months. It seems like it was yesterday. I mean, time is just flying. Technology is flying. This thing is just snowballing out of control away from us. And that was an amazing day. Jay was there? I was there. Well, you know, I love, it, it, it's not just Dodge. I just love the way every American car company is run by engineers now. You know, in the old days, this is Bob from Zenith and Bill from Whirlpool, and they're gonna help. But now, everywhere you go, it's all American technology, and it really is surpassing some of the best stuff in Europe. I mean, there's no place in Europe you can get <laughs> thousand horsepower car for this kind of money. I just like the egalitarianism of it, you know? Uh, everything in America is attainable. This is an attainable car. A Corvette's an attainable car. A Mustang's an attainable car. To get that kind of power, you have to go to McLaren or Ferrari, and you're talking hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's what I really like, that we build these things in a union shop with union workers at a, at a pretty good price. And it's, it, I think it's really exciting. It's really exciting to see. I'm going to come back to that union shop thing in a second. Okay. We didn't plan that, but that was a perfect segue for something. Well, I, you know, I did the Tonight Show, and that was a union shop. And on my last day, I said, you know, everybody here bought a house and a car with money they made from here. I made money. You made money. The show made money. And for 22 years, we had just a really nice situation, you know. And it was really great. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm a big union guy, so I, I think it's terrific. And I see Detroit coming back in gangbusters. Every time I come here, things are better and brighter than they were the last time. It's really exciting to see. Five months ago, when we launched this car, it was a crazy day. I mean, it was nuts. For those of you that were, were there, um, a helicopter in the desert, which is always windy in the desert, by the way, bringing in a 4,000 pound car over a crowded drag strip and dropping it there and the car's blowing in the breeze. I've had some better ideas, by the way. I was super stressed out that day, uh, but it all worked out. Everything worked out, it was all good. And there was so much going on that day. The helicopter, the winds, the car moving, 1,025 horsepower, first eight second muscle car, zero to 60 in 1.66 seconds in the parachute. I mean, it was like overload, right? There was probably something that a lot of people missed. There was a significant announcement that we made that day. That day we announced that this car, the Demon 170, was partnering with Jay in his line of car care chemicals. And every 170 comes with a very cool set of custom branded Demon 170 car care accessories. And when you hear that, you're like, I don't really see the connection. Where are they going with this? And if you think back to what we say about these cars, 
when we did the Viper ECR Extreme, when we did the original Demon, when we did this car, we said, we don't build these cars for the lucky few that buy them. It's awesome for them, but really what they're doing is they're protecting this car for the future. This is a legacy that they're taking care of for the future generations to enjoy. And what better way to tell that story than to be out here watching all these generations of cars going by. And no one probably understands protecting the legacy better than this man. Well, that's what I like to do. I like to preserve history. It's, it's great fun. And when we came up with the products, they're all products we developed in our garage. You know, I wasn't putting my name on Huffy Hot Dogs and selling them, you know. I mean, we developed the product, we gave it to people to use. We didn't advertise, we just kind of put it out there and people bought it and then reordered and reordered. It was really, it took 10 years, but we weren't in any hurry because, you know, I had another job. I was making money, I'm just fine. I just wanted people to like the product. And that's what I feel proudest about it. It's all stuff we developed in house. <clears throat> just like engineering here in Detroit. It's all done in-house. It's all done around here somewhere in Michigan. And that was we developed in California. But hey, it's still the United States, at least for a little while longer. Yeah. yeah. So, so when Jay said, this is a special car, number one, we were humbled that he would say this is a special car. And he said, this is the type of car we've got to protect for the future. And that's where the whole connection came from, to put these car care kits together with the car. And then we said, well, wait a minute we're not being true to what we always say. We say we don't build this car for the 3,000 people that are gonna buy them, 3,300 people that are gonna buy them. We build them for the millions of people that drive our cars because it makes them feel cool to be part of that team, right? Wear the jersey for the team that they're on, the car, the brand that they invested in. So if that's true, and we believe that, and we do, then why are the car care stuff, why is it only for the Demon 170 people? That's kind of exclusionary, right? So we said no. So today what we're announcing is, Jay is partnering with us again, and we're launching a whole new line through Direct Connection. So for all the Dodge owners, dcperformance.com, you can buy now a line of Direct Connection chemicals for our cars from Jay. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm proud to be associated with you guys, and I'm thrilled that you guys came to me. I did not come crawling to you, so I really appreciate that. So thanks. I mean, I, I just like that people use the, like the product, reordered it, as opposed to trying to push it on people. Just put it out there, see if they like it. And that's what makes it fun, you know. I, I'm a huge uh, a fan of Dodge because it, to me, it's a great American road car. It goes against, the, like the Challenger. It's a little heavy. It's got nice, big, comfortable, it's not some Recaro butter clutching seat that's so uncomfortable out there. But it's a car, you, you aim it at Vegas, you put your foot down and you just go. And when I take, when I take my, there's not a day I don't take my Hellcat out, I just don't laugh. I shift and it just makes me laugh. It just, it's got so much power and it's so much fun and great to drive, classic style, classic looking. I liked it each year, they just refined the body and the build quality just a little bit more and a little bit more. Uh, I've had my Hellcat since 15. It's been to the dealer once or twice for oil changes, that's about it. And I'm really thrilled by it and it's great to be associated with it. This, uh, this announcement today was the first thing that I was excited about. The second thing that I'm excited about, super excited about, is after we're done here, we're getting in 170s, and we're cruising with Jay up Woodward. I mean, that's a bucket list, come on. And all of you guys are invited to come along. So get in your cars, let's go. We're gonna caravan all the way up uh, Woodward. It's, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be fantastic. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, it really is just very American, it's everybody. You know, I enjoy Pebble Beach, it's a lot of fun, but it's, it's five thousand dollars a day you know this is just great it's hamburgers and hot dogs it's just people on the street every kind of possible car from a uh, rebel ramblers to dodge challenger i mean it, it's just a great event in celebrating american muscle and american ingenuity and spirit the um you guys all know this and jay will never tell you this one of the things that jay is incredibly well known for is his generosity and surprising people. You see him all over the place giving away cars to veterans and people in need, and he, and he shocks these people, right? Um, one thing that I don't think probably happens to you a lot is people get to surprise you. So I'm very lucky I'm that I get to... I have no idea what's going on here, but all right, all right. Uh, I, I uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Thankfully, people don't surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> I get to surprise you today. All right, all right. What, what are, uh, well, so the cars that we're going to be driving yeah. today, 
the one that you're going to be driving isn't some pre-production clapped up demo. You call them clapped up demos. I love that. Do you get, can you quote that? Can you get Tim on that? It's not some clapped out demo, but like you give the press, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a little <laughs> twist to this one. Okay, what's the twist? Our, our union team members at right. Brampton pulled off an absolute miracle, and your car is right here. Oh, that's, is that mine? This is your car. Well, done, okay, I, I ordered built. this last March. And oh, boy, you are the you're the first person to ever drive it outside the company, and now you're the first person to take delivery of oh, it, it in great. the world. Oh, it looks great. Oh, that's fantastic. Very good. And it's already registered in California with a very custom license plate. If you can zoom in on that, Leno 170. What's that? Oh. That's oh, your that's, license. Oh yeah, the cops will remember that. That's a, that's a. At least when you cut somebody off, it was two six. I don't remember the last four numbers. Now, oh no, it was Leno. I don't know what kind of car it was, but it was Leno's car. But thank, well, that's great. Thank you guys. Now, well, looks, looks, here's the huge test. Jay's the ultimate car guy. The ultimate car guy test is now that we're going out to cruise Woodward. Will you use your own car? Uh, yeah, let's use my car. That's why he's the ultimate car guy. Oh, let's do it. It's got zero miles on it. He's cruising Woodward. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Oh, that's great. Cool, cool. Oh, very exciting. Well, I don't know what to say. Did I surprise you? Uh, yeah, you did surprise <laughs> me. That's terrific. Well, thank, thank, thanks to the team. I really appreciate it. Wow, that's really great. It looks great. I like the color, too. Very nice. I wasn't sure about the color. I saw it in the, in the brochure. So. But yeah, it looks great. That's terrific. Yeah, it really is a lot of fun, this thing. It's great. Well, thank you, Tim. I appreciate I, it. I, I will, Thanks, I will give the stage to you anything let's, you want to say. No, let's go driving. Let's, any questions? I don't know. We're in this transition period with cars coming and EVs. How do you Wait, see things kind of change? You know, it's so funny. Mark Twain said, I like progress. It's change I don't like, you know. And it, it always kind of makes me laugh because it reinvigorates the business. <clears throat> I think the good thing about electrification is it saves cars like this because the intensity now just do away with gas cars, you know, but with electrification coming in, they'll ease restrictions. People that want to be into internal combustion and drive older cars, there won't be a lot of pressure to force them off the road because you use your electric car to sit in traffic. I mean, to sit in a 426 Hemi, like my 66 Coronet, getting five miles per gallon and bumping a bump of traffic makes no sense. But it's a lot of fun to take it out on a weekend and drive to an event like this or go up in the hills and drive around. You know, so that, that's why I think electrification is good. Plus, it reinvigorates people. I know people that are strictly electric fans. I know people that are strictly internal combustion fans. I love them both, and it's fun when you can merge them together because what it does, it just makes the hobby more powerful and stronger. You know, I, I have kids that know nothing about internal combustion, but they know everything about computers and electronics. And I, use, I, I go to them when I have a problem. Same thing with the internal combustion stuff. So, no, I think it's all good. I, I'm real positive about it. Cool. Well, let's go, let's go do this. Let's go. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thanks for supporting American uh, engineering. Good to see everybody. Thanks.